about supercell thunderstorms. And I know right away, like we saw. So you take a look at this one. This is a rendition of it. We're going to take it up into the 3D. Couple of features. You probably noticed right away this thing right here, right? This is the hook. Um, and if there was a tornado, it'd likely be right in there in that hook. There's winds coming in and feeding into the system. That's the inflow. And then there's areas of strong winds that are coming down out of the storm system. The fore flank downdraft and the rear flank downdraft. And these winds coming out of the supercell here are pretty important, actually, to uh, for the storm to continue its development and to stay its development. You've got potentially this rotating area of the updraft right in here, and that's the area that you would watch for potential tornadoes. Now, what's happening as we go through the animation, you've got these strong winds coming down from that rear flank downdraft, and that can actually help spin, help this spin continue and uh, extend up here into the vertical. Seth.